I can't seem to focus, and you don't seem to notice I'm not here. I'm just a mirror. You check your complexion to find your reflections all alone. I had. Do you understand? I've changed my plans, 'cause I am love with my future. Can't wait to meet her, and I am in love. But not with anybody else. Just wanna get to know myself. I know supposedly I'm lonely now. No, I'm supposed to be unhappy without someone. But aren't I some? Good morning and welcome to my new apartment and to the first reading vlog in it. I feel like the camera is very far away. I will come closer to you. Is that better? Well, maybe you don't want to see me up close, but sorry. So yeah, today I have off from work because it is Veterans Day. <laughs> As you can see, we take our holidays very seriously and do a lot to commemorate them. I've been living here for like just over a week. A week ago last this past Friday, uh, I was moving day. It feels like I've been here longer. <laughs> not in a bad way, like I'm not sick of it. It's just like, it's, you know, been what I've been about moving for so long. And then, I mean, of course, because of the pandemic, I'm just here all the time. Just like I was all the time in my old apartment. Still have to go back to my old apartment to like final clean it and whatever. Not to, that chapter is almost done, but not quite. But that affects this reading vlog not at all. <laughs> Today, I will be hopefully getting some reading in. As hopefully is understandable, I didn't get a ton of reading done while I was mid-move. So tail end of January, beginning of February. Like, I did manage to listen to some audiobooks, but reading was definitely not <laughs> a priority and not an option. But since then, I mean, I've been getting back into reading. Reading vlogs are always good for that. However, I also, the other thing that wasn't really an option mid-move was filming videos. So today I do need to film a couple of videos. One of which I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to do it. I want to do it, but I don't know if I want to do it because it's a subject that came up in my tag video that I posted this past Saturday where like it's something that I didn't even plan to talk about, but it came up and the response that I got on it was, unexpected and intense <laughs> so I do think it's a subject that I want to talk about I want to make a video about but I'm still fresh off of being irked at the response I got um, at being so uh, <laughs> aggressively misunderstood so I definitely want to make that video basically is what I'm saying like it's not deciding whether or not that video should be made at all it's, I don't know if I need, to, if I should do it today. And I also don't know if posting it so soon after. Like, I don't know if it's better to do it right after the tag. To be like, by the way, let me explain. Or if I need to, like, let that breathe and come back to it fresh. And let my audience come back to it fresh. So they're not conflating whatever their impression of what I said was in that video with what I will now be saying in my planned, prepared. I say planned and prepared. I'm not scripting anything. But I mean, like, being more intentional about going in deciding to discuss this because it was a tag video so it just like came up while I was answering a tag question where I was like I guess this <clears throat> so I didn't plan to talk about that but now I will be planning to talk about that so I don't know if I'm ready to film that today <laughs> um I might put it off just to again so that I'm less like Argh! and so that my audience is less Argh! it's better for everybody we need, we need to take five <laughs> so yeah 
Uh, I do need to film, again, some videos that are just like regular old videos. So like, what am I filming? My Blade Itself review, which is a long time coming. After my fourth read, you know, it's about time. Uh, I finally finished the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Um, so I'd like to finish, or not finish, uh, film a series review. The other video that I had in mind was I, my spicy discussion, which I might be punting. I hate makeup to go to waste though, so I may, I think, well there was another video, there is another video that I've been planning for some time. I still don't think I'm ready to film it because it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> so not bad. <laughs> but I, did, I think I had a, when I was batch filming before my move, I had like 50 billion videos like written out as ideas and I managed to film like 10 of them. But I had like a read likes uh, on that list that I might film today. Need to check it, see if I still agree with myself from a month ago. So yeah. Oh, and what am I reading right now? Well, that's probably what I should have opened with. Um, I finally started reading Gardens of the Moon, which as if you don't know, I'm buddy reading with my father. He's actually farther along in it than I am, which is to be expected because he reads faster and because he hasn't been as busy as me. And he was like waiting to start until I started. And I was like, look, I started it, but like I don't have a ton of time to read. So like no rush. And he's like pacing himself, reading only like only four times as fast as I do instead of ten times as fast as I do. Seems to be enjoying it. I think I'm enjoying it as well. I'm not that far into it, but so far, so good. Uh, and then I'm also reading Shadow of Night, which is the sequel to A Discovery of Witches. Um, not very far into it. All of <laughs> Within the first 30 pages, I'm already like having similar, like different but similar issues to my issues with the first one where I'm like, it's entertaining, but like the way you speak and the way things are going, I'm just like, you wouldn't though, they wouldn't though, this wouldn't though. <laughs> but so far it's at least entertaining and the setting, which is the main reason that I picked this up in the first place, the setting so far is like, it's what I wanted. I wanted to be in this, where this is. I'm not saying because it's spoilery for the first book, but you know, I feel like most people probably already know because all the trailers for the show give it away, but uh, that's why I'm being all cryptic. And I DNF'd these violent delights yesterday, so I'm not reading that. I need to read from Blood and Ash before the live show, but I have some time. I like to read the Blades and Bodies Rippers book club books like the week leading up to if possible, because then it's freshest in my brain. I've been putting off my reread of Before They Are Hanged because I wanted to film my review of the blade itself and have like that as crystal as it can be. Crystal and separate from the second book before I dove in. So if I do finish, I mean, if I do film my Blade Itself review today, which I plan to, then I can finally dive into my reread of Before They Are Hanged. Just generally on deck for the month, I still got Girl in the Tower and Deathless Divide, which are both buddy reads. Because every fucking thing I'm reading this month is a buddy read. This is not on my TBR, but I bought The Queen's Gambit because I would like to read it before watching the show since I learned that it is based on a book. But I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'll have time to finish everything without my TBR anyway, so it's irresponsible to pick up something else as well. But I DNF'd these Violent Delights, so it can replace that? Maybe? Anywho, yeah. I'm just gonna read a little bit this morning while I drink my coffee, and then film some videos, and then I'll check in with you. Cool. <laughs> Okay, well, I finished filming two videos per my plan, as you can see. I'm all made up now. I think I, I mean, I know I filmed uh, me setting up my camera. Don't know if I'm including that footage, you know, more than I do. Um, yeah, so I filmed my Blade Itself review and my Broken Earth review, both of which are quite choppy because I think it's garbage day nearby, so I had to keep stopping speaking because of trucks. <laughs> My new apartment is definitely like way quieter than my old apartment, but I still live in downtown LA. In fact, I live more downtown than I used to, but I don't live near the freeway on ramp anymore, so it's not constant sirens. And this building is sturdier, so like I can still hear my neighbor sometimes because like that just comes with the territory. And it is an old historic building, so the like heating system is like 
steam heat so like I can hear it coming on and clicking like the pipes and stuff when my all of my neighbors use it but again compared to where I lived before it is so quiet <laughs> but today has been especially noisy which of course it was because I'm filming today so people driving by with their radios on full blast garbage trucks <laughs> Uh, particularly with my Rogan Earth review, I had to stop for like four minutes and the camera just kept rolling because I was like, it'll stop, it'll stop, it'll stop. And by the time I started talking again, I was like, what even was I saying? <laughs> so I feel like that video is going to be quite, like I'm afraid it's going to be apparent that there was me and then there was me four minutes later being like, where was I? <sighs> with those books in particular, like it's not the kind of book you want to be discussing and losing your train of thought. <laughs> So, hopefully it's fine. It is what it is. Um, what time is it? It is almost 11.30. So, I think, what do I think? I mean, I have the rest of the day to myself now. I'm gonna, oh, why is my book jacket all, all crinkly? Can you see? Probably can't see, but. Oh wow, the book's a bit, ew, the bottom of it is like wet. Oh, well, I guess I'm keeping it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have tea and read. Um, I will be doing no further cooking today because I have so many leftovers from the weekend. I have three kinds of pizza and I have nacho fries. So those must be eaten. <laughs> I also have like a lot of avocado that I'm afraid is gonna go bad. So pizza with avocado, nacho fries with avocado, toast with avocado, tea with avocado. <laughs> Doing everything with avocado now. But right now, I'm kind of hungry. I'm not gonna lie. That smoothie bowl was good, but I want salt. I always want salt. So I might have some pizza. No, I'll wait. I'll wait until noon, even though it's completely irrelevant when you're eating lunch, but I'll eat. I'll have tea and read some more of this, or if I want to read Gardens of the Moon. I've been mainly doing this on audio, um, partly because of convenience, partly because I like this narrator, and partly because I'm an auditory learner. So uh, I know people have said that like they'll they do audiobooks, but if it's a really complicated book, that they'll purposely read it like the physical book because they don't want to miss anything. If it's a really complicated book, I often choose specifically to read it on audio instead because I am an auditory learner <laughs> and I retain a lot more um, from an audiobook than from reading a book physically. So it is because that it is more complicated that I'm reading it on audio because that's how I function. <laughs> but that said, I kind of want to like try out reading it like on page for a bit maybe um or i'll just sit on the couch drinking tea and listening i don't know i, I know people like to uh listen and read along and i cannot do that i've tried it but it's so distracting because all i'm thinking about is matching what i'm hearing to the words and then it becomes like an activity like a matching game instead of, and i'm not paying attention to what's going on at all i'm just like matching 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 oh it's not matching. wait where did he go wait matching 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 and that's all i'm thinking about <laughs> So that is not an option. I can read it or I can listen to it. But yeah, okay, cool. Let's make tea and read some books. Yep, it's a reading vlog. i 
was over me The way she shows me I'm hers and she's mine Oh, behind the clothes Fear should be fine Blood is red And the sweet eyes Cheap me wine Cause of guilty She shows me I'm hers and she's mine Open hand or close, fear should be fine Blood is red and the sweet eyes cherry wine She loves like sleep to the freezing. Who knew that putting lamps on tables and whatnot would be such hard work? I think it's because I had a lot of hot tea right before I started, and I'm wearing sweats. <laughs> Brilliant. But um, this is not my new lamp. This is an old lamp. Can it focus on that instead of my face? Cool. Anyway. Um, I didn't know where to put this, so I just had it in a box still. But I decided to move the lamp that was there on my vanity. The lamp you just saw me put together, if I included that footage, <laughs> is on my work desk, which is in my bedroom, for like, work work stuff. Um, and that, yeah, and then I finally put a bulb in my salt lamp, which has been bulbless for like a year. Um, and I have another lamp like this on my bedside table. So I've had that one in for a while. I was like, I don't know where to put the second one. I was like, I want it where I can see it when I'm not in the bedroom. I mainly did this because I thought like that amber colored lamp that I just got didn't go with that lamp. Like it looked weird together. Um, and this goes better with that. And it makes the amber colored one makes my... <laughs> work desk look more homey instead of just like because it's covered in just like pc monitors and like machinery so having that warm amber lamp over there helps it feel homier this room already feels quite homey so I could put a more industrial looking lamp here anyway that's my what's the word i'm looking for interior design update for you um it is now Quarter after two, I'm sweating from doing all that. <laughs> um, so what do I need to tell you? Oh yeah, it's a reading vlog. So let's talk about what I've been reading. I read a bit of Gardens of the Moon and I read a bit of Shadow of Night. Um, I read a teeny tiny bit of Rogue of One's Own and I was like, nah, I'm not feeling this right now. I was like, it's Valentine's Day weekend. I should read that. And then I was like, nah, I want to read Gardens of the Moon. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, after all that hot tea, I'm going to have a, a ice cold beverage now so that I can get cold again. And then I can snuggle up with probably Shadow of Night, I think. I don't know. We'll see what I'm feeling. And that's my update for you. You're welcome. Sweet in the right in merciful I'm all but lost and tired of a breathing It's worth it It's a crime I'll have this some other time The way 
she shows me her hers and she's mine Open hands are closed, fear should be fine Her blood is red and sweet as cherry wine So originally I was planning just to vlog today um, but I think I'm gonna extend this vlog into tomorrow because <laughs> I didn't really get far enough into any book that I was reading to really talk about it. So, I mean, yeah. I've read about 100 pages of uh, Shadow of Night and where am I in <laughs> Gardens of the Moon? I'm 70 pages into Gardens of the Moon. So like, that's almost 200 pages of reading today, which is, you know, not amazing, but not bad. But yeah, it's like, it's too early in both books to really say anything. Um, yeah. So tomorrow is a work day, unlike today. But um, I have been, as of like <laughs> four days ago, gotten or been getting into the habit of waking up earlier so that I can like make coffee and read a bit before I start work. So I intend to read tomorrow morning. Um, I intend to read tonight a bit more too. I just like wanted to tell you this now that I decided it. Because <laughs> I kind of kept thinking tonight. I was like, man, I need to like talk about what I'm reading. But I'm like, I don't have anything to say right now. So now I'm like, you know what? It's fine. You can have stuff to say tomorrow. So yeah, I'll read before I start work tomorrow. I'll probably read during my lunch break. And I'll read tomorrow evening after I finish work. Those are pretty much the options. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, just wanted to update you, let you know the situation. Okay, see you later. So originally I wasn't planning on filming anymore tonight, but um, I decided to go through some mail that my mom brought over for me yesterday and uh, included in the mail, which I didn't realize was something that I've been waiting for for quite some time. And then I also was excited to show you guys. Um, so... Now, last minute, I'm gonna show you. I'll show you again, um, either tomorrow in the daylight, or uh, I am also planning to do a video that's kind of related to it, so I'll show it off then. But it is pretty freaking cool. Okay, so it's uh, this Viking jewelry, uh, and it comes, uh, each piece comes in a wooden box that says Vikings on it. Um, again, I'll show you in daylight, it'll look better. Um, but anyway, I got a ring and an arm band um and they're very viking <laughs> so i got this raven ring i got it in a larger size so that i could wear it on my uh, pointer finger my pointer finger is very fat <laughs> so i got it kind of big but you know you can get your size obviously it's a ring <laughs> uh, and they come in different uh you can get it like silver or gold or um kind of oxidized like this um, anyway, yeah, I'll show you in daylight. I don't know why I'm showing you now because I'm also going to show you in daylight, but it's because I'm excited. And then, again, same thing. You can get the armband in uh, gold or silver or this kind of oxidized um, style, which this is quite Latvian looking, even though this is not a Latvian design, but this is very similar to a Latvian design. So, and it has, I got the wolf one. So you can see it looks like howling wolves on the ends. And it goes on like that. So now I have the hand of a viking. <laughs> Shazam. Back to reading A Rogue of One's Own, which is what I decided to read. While listening to classical music and being all girly and fancy. Okay, bye.
hopping by because I'm almost done with work. Uh, not quite, but almost. And before the daylight fades, I've got to show you my bling. Ugh. It's pretty epic, is it not? I've been wearing it all day and it's been clanging against my desk all day, but it's worth it. Um, and I had a bunch of packages arrive. You can see, you can kind of see. Normally, if I wasn't vlogging, I would spend the rest of my evening putting together the furniture that is in those boxes. But I extended my reading vlog into today so that I could read. So my haul is just gonna have to be filled with boxes and furniture until this vlog is done <laughs> tonight. So yeah, my hair desperately needs a wash. But I got dressed today and everything. So I wanted to like show you my bling, my clothes, my boxes, my hair before I hop in the shower after I finish work and then heat up some leftover pizza and read. What I need to figure out is what I'm gonna read tonight. We'll see what I'm feeling when I get out the shower. Work has been finished, hair has been washed, pizza has been consumed, not necessarily in that order. And now it is time to read. This morning, I don't know if I told you. I don't think I did because I don't think I told you anything. <laughs> this morning when I was getting like cleaning in the kitchen and making breakfast, I was listening to Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie because as previously stated, I didn't want to start that reread until I had filmed the review for The Blade itself, which I filmed yesterday. So I was like, great, let's get right into it. Um, so I low key just want to read that. <laughs> but no, 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 must read something new. So yeah, last night I read not terribly much. I read like 40 pages of A Rogue of One's Own and then pre prior to that, I had read about 100 pages of Shadow of Night. And then prior to that, I had read about 50 pages of Gardens of the Moon. Those are all options. <laughs> um, I think, um, I think, um, No, I'm in the mood to read, but I also don't know what I'm in the mood to read. None of these appeal to me right now. Like, they don't sound terrible, but they don't... Before they're hanged sounds the best. <laughs> um... Okay. I will... I should... I've done this before. Y'all know my trick of putting in, like, checkpoint sticky notes so that, like, the prospect of reading an entire thing isn't so daunting. I'm like, oh no, I just gotta make it to my checkpoint. Gotta make it to my next checkpoint. So I'm gonna set some checkpoints for Gardens of the Moon. And I'm gonna read that until I reach that checkpoint. And then continue on if I feel like it or switch to something else. Good plan. Good. Oh, also Bethany told me that she started Girl in the Tower, which she and I are buddy reading. Um, but it is really warm in here right now. I think it's because like these windows face uh, west, west-ish. So when the sun is setting, it, like right before sunset, like a lot of sunlight hits this room. So it's pretty warm in here in the evening. Gardens of the Moon, checkpoints, read that. Great, cool. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Nailed it. Well, my friends, I do believe that we have reached the end of this reading vlog. 
I have made it to chapter six of Gardens of the Moon, which is page 148 in this edition of it. And I, I feel like I am both, like, I want to say that I'm really confused, but I'm not confused, but I am confused. So like, I, within each scene, I know what's going on, but at the same time, I just generally don't feel like I know what's going on. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe if you've read it, that makes sense. Like, like while I'm in the middle of the scene, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm, I, I'm not lost about your dialogue. I know who you are. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're saying to each other. Like, I'm with you. But then when I, like, if I think about, like, how, if I was going to try to explain to somebody, like, what this is about so far and, like, where I'm at, I, I feel like I haven't read it and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think it's, it's like, uh, it feels like if I was like at the park or something and like I kept uh, overhearing conversations with people and like, um, and I happen to know their names, which, you know, I wouldn't, but, um, and like while I'm listening to their conversation because like, you know, I know what's going on in the world. Like I know what they're talking about and like I can, I can eavesdrop and be like totally sure I know <laughs> what they're talking about, but also I don't know who they are as people and uh, you know what I mean kind of like I know that they're humans in my world in the park <laughs> but I don't know more than that I don't know if that makes any kind of sense that's how I'm feeling about this like I feel like at any given moment I am I'm there I know what's going on but overall not so sure I know what's going on like I don't know maybe it will crystallize as as we go on hopefully it will it's weird i knew it would be i knew it would be difficult and complicated i knew that going in so like i'm not entirely surprised that i feel this way and we'll see i do like the writing style i really do it's kind of uh, a little more flowery which i like um i really hate when fantasy prose is like super basic and modern because it just doesn't feel like fantasy like it was like watching, you know, Queen Elizabeth the first say, "Hey, what's up?" You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't go like. Uh, so I like the the more formal, poetic kind of style of the writing I do, and I feel like it also it helps me to to take magic more seriously. Like when people talk about magic casually with like modern speech, I'm like, that sounds dumb. <laughs> But when you say it all like highfalutin and magic, like the magic sounds more like philosophy. Something that's like mysterious and unknowable as opposed to like a wizard with a stick and a spell. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any kind of sense, but that's how I feel. So yeah, I think I'm enjoying it. Hard to say when I also don't know what's happening. Uh... Yeah, I do also like the names. They're just fun names that like, I like, I just like hearing them and I feel like I'm gonna enjoy saying them if and when I review it. Whiskey Jack and Anamander Rake. You they just like, they, you just wanna say them. I don't know why. I feel similarly about the names in Dune. The names in Dune are names that I like, I find excuses to say. Like, I, in, instead of using a pronoun, I'll say the name again because I just think it's a fun name. Like Fae Ratha and Leto Atreides. They're just like, they're real namey names. <laughs> they got some good syllables. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something about the names in this. Tattersail. Whiskey Jack doesn't even sound like a fantasy name. I just like whiskey, so I think I like hearing the name Whiskey Jack repeatedly because I'm like, whiskey. And like, it's just, it literally sounds like somebody is named after Jack Daniels. <laughs> but I'm fine with it. Anamander Rake is probably my favorite name so far. Like, it sounds like something from Dune. <laughs> okay, that's my expert analysis on Gardens of the Moon so far. Clearly I need to go to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments down below whenever you want to let me know about 
whatever I've said in this vlog. I don't even remember what's happened. I feel like I've been vlogging for days, but it was mainly just yesterday. <laughs> so yeah. Um that's yep, okay. Well, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>